One of the most anticipated features of iOS 14 is now the ability to be able to change our default email application and our default browser from Apple's own version to a third-party one. So we can now change Apple's Safari to a third-party option like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge if we like. And yes, this change will work on our iPhones as well as our iPad. So obviously the first thing we need to have is iOS 14. So if you're not on iOS 14, make sure you go ahead and download that. So once you've installed the latest version of iOS, you'll then need to update your web browser. So in this video, we're going to use Google Chrome for the example. So if we go to our settings app and we scroll all the way down and we find Chrome. Now over here on this right hand side, you can see that I currently don't have any option to change our browser from its default of Safari over to Chrome. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is update Chrome or just simply remove it and download it again. So that's what we'll do. So we will go and find our Chrome browser and we will delete it. Okay, it's gone. All right, and we'll download it again. Okay, a few moments later, we will have our Chrome browser reinstalled. Okay, and there she is. That's fine. What we'll now do is we'll go back to our settings. We'll select Chrome. In fact, it's already gone straight back in there. And this time you'll see we have an option here to change our default browser application. So let's select that. And we've now got the option to change our default over to Chrome. Now, that's pretty cool and it's going to satisfy a lot of people out there who would prefer to use Chrome or prefer to use Edge over Safari, but it's really a symbolic gesture at best because bear in mind, all third-party browsers that are on iOS do use Safari's WebKit engine. So more or less, all of those applications really are the same. There will be some cosmetic differences, of course, and of course, Chrome might offer some integrations with the Google platform and Edge might do the same with Microsoft. So there's a variety of reasons why you might want to change it. But the cool part is, at least with iOS 14, now we can. And it's a pretty easy thing to do. You'll just find it buried, of course, because Apple, well, they're not going to want you to change anything. So we just simply have to go to our settings, locate the browser in question, in this case, Chrome or down here, we'll have Edge as well, and just simply change the default. Finally, we get the option. It's nice to have a choice. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.